Hello and welcome to this tutorial for using the Webby app short and long text icons. We will also discuss a little bit more about the loop icon. So let's get into a page that uses these items and we, we're going into the year one class page from the tour page and if we log into WebYep we will see the icons we're going to discuss. This is the short text icon we click on it we will get this particular dialog box and we can type in a heading for our article the next icon is the long text icon this is for a paragraph of text um, one useful thing about the long text editor is that we can type in a URL or paste in a URL to a website and it recognizes that it's a URL and automatically converts it into a link so if I save that now you'll see that we now have a link to in this instance Google it also creates a new page as well so that we can close that and come back to our website the other icon which we've discussed before is the loop icon and this particular loop repeats the heading the paragraph of text the attachment and a gallery here the gallery we will be discussing in a moment in a further tutorial um, so if we click on the plus sign there we can only see a few of the icons representing the loop and if we click on the plus sign which we did just there we will see but beneath this element here we, we've got a new one but all the items are empty at the moment and we would need to add content to them now this was a button we didn't discuss last time and this disables an element so for instance if we were part way through editing this and we need to move on we can disable that element for a, a time being and when we log out of the editing system we will see that uh, there is no new content there now if we just log back in again and enable that element and just quickly put in some content so that we can see ah now this is an error that web App will show if we click on a, an icon before the previous icon has finished doing what it needs to do so if I just scroll the page back to the correct place and get the uh, the long text uh, editor up, I can just paste in some text so there we are I won't bother with the attachment or the gallery just yet so now if we log out we will see we've made sure this element is uh, enabled this time so now we can actually see that we've got our heading and, and paragraph of text so this concludes the tutorial for the short text and long text icons and the uh, enable and disable element within the loop icons too so thank you